Hi, my name is Franco Sancho, and we are going to continue with practice four, the second part. In this, car, part, in this case, we are going to explain how to work uh, in groups uh, with Atlas T. That means, uh, imagine that you split the different activities that you have to do in each of the practices between two or three or four members of the group. Uh, the idea is that we are going to work together and uh, each of the individuals are going to do some part of the activity. And once uh, everything is finished, we are going to merge, we are going to put together all the information. I'm going to explain how to do it uh, in an easy way and fast way. I was included in the, at, the, at the end, uh, the last part of this of the of practice four. So this is more or less the idea. We are going to have different people doing different activities in Atlas TI. For example, uh, creating quotes and memos, uh, uh, for example, related with this to this practice or creating uh, um, codes in the next class and so on. So the idea is that we need, first of all, we need to uh, try to be consistent to, uh, as, I, as we said in, in a video of practice four, first part, we said that it is very important to uh, organize a meeting between the, the individuals that are going to, to work in Atlas TI to ensure that we codify or we cite the things, uh, the same things in the same groups. So once the activity is done, one individual can merge, can fuse, can fusion, fusionar in Spanish, all the documents in one file. So we can file, uh, merge the files, and we can have a file where all the information is there. So this is the idea, as I told you, first group is going to, first group or first individual is going to um, work, do the activities. Uh, the group two are going to do the, also the activities, uh, if, for example, in different do primary documents. For example, group one uh, could work in primary document one, two, and three, and uh, group two, in, it's a, it's a mistake here, it should be two. Group two is going to work in uh, four, five, and six. So an administration can merge the both documents in order to have a new one with all the information contained in the first and the second uh, documents. So this is what we are going to do before we do it uh, actually in, in Atlas TI. I'm going to show you the, um, the well, a video that is in Spanish where it is explained how to uh, merge documents. And uh, also in the, uh, in, the, in the manual of Atlas TI version seven, that is the one that we are working with, we're working with uh, in page 19, you have more or less the explanation. So uh, let's go into see how this is done in Atlas TI. As usual, we are going to, to access to Atlas TI via the connection of the University of Alicante. Let me see. And second, you, we open Red Ua, that is the, the, the remote connection to the, to the server of the University of Alicante. We are waiting to have the connection and we are in. So the thing we are going to do is, well, first of all, let me one second. We are going to copy one document into a folder because this is the, the, fold, the, docu the folder I have prepared for the pra this practice. We are going to see and we are going to copy it in C because, uh, but at least I'm going to copy one of them. Copy add the transcription and paste up because I have already opened the transcription. I need to do it without opening the transcription. And here we are 
the transcription is going to be copied. This is just for, and we are in the document in the uh, computer of the server of the university. We find Atlas TI as usual. The first thing we are going to do, given that this class is in English, to put it in English, the software initially is in Spanish. So what we do is to go to herramientas, preferences, software, accept, and it says we need to close the program in order to have it in English. So we close it, we open it another time, and now it should be in English. Here we are. So uh, the thing, the first thing we are going to do is to create two projects, assuming that two individuals are working in this. So the first project, we are going to open a um, new document, a uh, primary document in this case, C in C we have the we have the transcription. We are going to open the same primary document in both in, in both um, in both hermeneutic units. So here we are. We have one primary document. In this case, we can create some citations, for example, quotations, for example by random, I don't care. In your case, you should do this more carefully, but in this case, it's just for you, for you to see. We can create also, for example, some code in order to see how it works. For example, we can code this, uh, create coding, enter code name, for example, from customer experience, staff, just one, one code just for you to see. And we can create one memo as well. Remember, select, create free memo, and we can say observation memo, smile, for example. Okay, and here we are, we can write everything, every, whatever we want. Save, yes, perfect. So we have some say, quotations, some code, and one memo. This is the thing we have in this first document. And this first document, we are going to Save it as, save as, as usual. We go to our folder at last TI and we say hermeneutic unit, for example, the project, project, for example, group one. This is going to be the activities that the group one have done in the document. What are that? Save. So we have saved. Let me see if it, it is saved. Here we are. Perfect. So here we are. Let's close this. Or for example, let's create a new hermeneutic unit. In this case, the second hermeneutic unit is going to have the same. We are going to create the same or include the same uh, primary document. It's recommended primary document. And in this second, we are going to do different, uh, we are going to underline different, we are going to do different activities. We are assuming in this case that this is group two. The activity of, of group two could be in the same uh, document or could be in a, in, different, in a different document. We can create a different code and before code, for example, customer experience, processes, and we can create some memos. For example, we can create here, create memo, observation, uh, memo, but sad. Okay, so we have some, and we put everything, whatever we want here, and that's it. So we have a new document. In this case, we save this document. This is the, like the second group, we go to the same folder than before, and we save it like group two. So what we are going to do, we have two uh, documents. One is done by individual one or group one, and the other one is done by individual two or group two. They have different codes, different quotations, and different memos. Can we merge them into one? Yes, we can. 
For example, if we are in group two, we are going to use group two and we are going to put together group one and group two with the alternative or the option merge with hermeneutic unit. So we, we say this, let me see, sometimes it doesn't open very well. Close and open, hi, here we are. And it says, target hermeneutic unit. This is where we are going to save or this is going to be the destination of the information. This is the source here, as you see, is the same. So we need to, ch to change because we are going to put together group two and group one. So we come here and we select hermeneutic unit in C, Atlas TI. We select hermeneutic unit group one. So here we have, as you see, we are going to merge hermeneutic unit source of group one and group two. And this is going to be put in group two, in the one we have open now. So next, and they say that we can have same um, primary documents and same codes, same primary documents and different codes, different primary documents, same codes, different primary documents and different codes. So we are going to choose this one because if we choose this one, it's going to uh, keep most of the things. So you see in the first case, the addition, the new document wouldn't have any, anything from the originals. It's going to unify something and it's going to ignore relationship, memos and so on. If we click this, we include more things. And in the last case, we include most, most of the things. We can click also, move this memo from ignore to add. In this case, in some cases, it keeps the memos and the memos files. We are going to also say that keep create merge report and merge comments, merge everything. Okay, once we have said this, different um, uh, primary documents and different codes, finish. And here we have, we have, as you see, this is the merging report. It says it has merged this file, group one and group two, and it has put everything in group two. Great. There are, there is only one primary document in both of them. There are six quotations in one and four in the other. And codes one and one, this is the thing we have done. So in general, memos, it has kept all the memos we have. So everything, it seems, has been done. This is the, me the memos that we have included. And the new document has two primary documents, 10 quotations, two codes, and so on. In this way, we are going to have two primary documents. This could be a problem. In, in fact, if we come here, there are two primary documents of the same, of the same. Let's go into close and open another time, and let's go into do it another time. Let me see. Uh, I have done it on purpose to see, to show you that uh, there could be problems. Let's go into do it another time. Now, let's go to open project number two, and then let's go into do it properly. This is the correct way of doing this. We open group two, group one is already open. The, the project of group one is already open. And we have Group two, here we are. As you see, with everything we created. Now we do merge. Group one, group uh, two is the target, and group one is the one we are going to put with group, group two. Perfect. And now we are going to say, given that we have included the same um, primary document, it's not going to duplicate. If I click here, it's not going to duplicate. And what I can try to do is to put add in everything. If I do this, be careful 
this only works if all the primary documents are the same. All the quotations, well, unified. In quotations, exactly, yeah. Uh, codes, be careful with codes, because in codes, you need to write the code exactly the same in the first document and the second document. And in the memos, the same. You need to write exactly the same. If not, it's going to duplicate. And with the rest of the things are the same. Finish. And if we do this, in theory, we are going to have a new document. First of all, we are going to read the report. And it says, source, target. Exactly. Let's see. These are the original documents. OK. Everything is OK. It seems to have done perfectly the things. And we are going to see if the sum, for example, there were six quotations and four in each of the documents. One code and one code, and one memo and one memo. We are going to check if the new document have everything as, should, as it should be. 10 quotations, two codes, two codings, two memos. In theory, it's OK. So let's go into check. Mm -hmm. OK, well, uh, for, uh, for some reason, it has duplicated the, 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 the um, primary documents, but the quotes are OK. We have the sum of the quotes and we have the sum of the codes. Remember, we created two codes and also of the um, of the um, uh, memos. So this is the thing. Be careful when you save this one, save us, be careful and save it with a different name. Because remember that was group one, group two, we can change the name to all. And we know that this one is the uh, merge document that includes every, all, every, all the information of group one and group two. And once we, we do this, we can continue by using only one document. We have merge group one and group two activities. So I hope you have understood the, the practice that we had for today, this kind of collaborative uh, work. For more detail, you can see the manual because there are many ways to and many uh, specific uh, things that you need to take into account. And if you click here, you can, you can see the details. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.